Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past, and more. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. After the heyday of ancient civilization, with the highly developed Egyptians, Romans, and Greeks, who gave the world many discoveries and inventions, suddenly comes the Middle Age, dirt, damp, plague, execution, torture, inquisition, stink, ignorance, pain, and other filth. For almost ten centuries, mankind was stuck. But for some reason, the Gothic architecture of the Middle Ages is striking in its grandeur. These masterpieces were built at a time when there was total unsanitary conditions, and hemorrhoids were treated with red-hot iron. In one area of life, people live some kind of primitive thinking, but the construction, for centuries. And so that even now cannot be repeated. What do you think? Anyway, the first step in eliminating people, said Hubble, is to erase their memory. Destroy their books, their culture, their history. Then ask someone to write new books, create a new culture, invent a new history. Soon the people will begin to forget what it is and what it was. The surrounding world will forget even faster. Milan Candor. The memory of the masses is erased very easily, it does not take much time. It's scary to realize that. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The stone carvings on the walls of the Varamurthyswara temple in Tamil Nadu, India, depict the process of human conception and birth. If the different stages of pregnancy surprise no one, the depiction of fertilization is simply unthinkable. Thousands of years before the discovery of these very cells, before ultrasound and the microscope, a detailed process of how cells meet, merge and grow in a woman's womb, is carved on a 6,000-year-old temple. The Anomaly of Electrical Lighting Illustrations This is an illustration from 1851 in Paris with very obvious electrical lights, which would have predated Thomas Edison's reveal of the light bulb by over 20 years. Thomas Edison may have been the one to successfully commercialize the light bulb, but he was not the inventor. According to mainstream history, Sir Humphrey Davy was the first to design the light bulb. If we entertain this information, this illustration would be possible in the mainstream timeline, even though it would be extremely cumbersome to set up, and very expensive. This one is called Rejuicence's Du Pupil, in Reims, on August 27, 1765. This is quite the spectacle for 1765, and it would predate the supposed invention of the light bulb by over 100 years. The mainstream can explain away some of them, saying they are gas-powered. These two illustrations are from Moscow in 1856 and 1801. Because of the lack of close-up detail we get from these depictions, either explanation is reasonable. That being said, if these towers' lights are gas-powered, then that is ridiculously resource-consuming, and one could argue its unreasonableness for the time period. Here we have something extreme. The first is from London in 1852, and the second is from France in 1790. 
If you are brainwashed enough to say they are gas-powered, the one from 1852 is technically possible according to the mainstream timeline. But the one from 1790 is way too early. To put this in perspective, William Murdoch, one of the first to design a gas lighting system, would have just figured out how to light his own house with this method around this time. This one is from France in 1682. According to the mainstream timeline, this depiction was long before the use of both electrical and gas-powered lighting. The only explanation the mainstream could give is, either it is candle-powered, terribly unreasonable, or it is just dreamt up in somebody's imagination, and it happens to look exactly like electrical lighting. Notice the horizontal beams on the upper deck. Let's take a look at something even more insane. This is from France in 1782. Here we see a display of advanced lighting that is far more exquisite than what is written in our history books. The pillars can only be electrical. To say it was gas-powered would be an insult. Not to mention, those fireworks don't look like any kind of fireworks I've ever seen. And let's not forget the elephant in the room. This firework show contains blatantly obvious streams of electricity. It even hit some of the people on a rooftop, I think they're okay. This is nothing that we have ever seen in today's technology. Here are a few more illustrations with questionable fireworks. The fountain illustration is of the Palace of Versailles with what appears to be underwater lighting. The second depiction has a date 1769, but the date along with the other words drawn on this illustration appear to be lazy alterations by another person well after. The symbols aren't even centered. Sometimes, all it takes to rewrite history is to write in a date yourself. The second depiction could be 2000 years old. Or 200 years old. And we have saved the best for last. A painting of Nuremberg, Germany, 1650. Supposed to be a firework display. There are definitely fireworks going off, but there is a painfully obvious electrical equivalent. To interpret this depiction in any other manner would be ridiculous. The men below are literally playing with electrified swords, which are also in the shape of lightning bolts. This is the oldest illustration on our list. It was over 200 years before electricity became commonplace in our homes, and over 100 years before Ben Franklin's so-called kite experiment. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.